let's look at oats. First off, read this disclaimer carefully. And do your good deed of the day by liking and subscribing. So we go to natural resources and we find oats under the grains. We do not get any data, unfortunately, from Refinitiv. But we definitively want to have a bit of a look at what's happening in uh, this uh, space. So the commodities market, it is the oldest uh, and the most real of all financial markets. This is the ultimate reality. This is like the resources of our planet. When it comes to uh, so many other things, in finance, it is very socially constructed. It is something we have just made up, invented uh, um, in our minds, uh, but this is the real deal. And I think, you know, a, a bit of a digression, but I do think that it's very important to have, you know, your feet into... Um, you know, some places, you know, in the commodities space, because uh, I think that one of the primary re reasons why we have had these, uh, this completely reckless, um, you know, population growth on the planet, and you know, with the, the decimation of um, the natural uh, wildlife, and basically our natural resources, that is because we have become too disconnected. So, yeah. So this is Oats Futures, and we do see that we have these uh, time cycles that have been pretty relevant for a long time. You know, these are weekly data points, we go way back here to the 70s, and even though we go this far back, there is something here with these uh, time cycles. It's obviously not going to be perfect when you go that far back, but I think you can see yourself when you look at the time cycles and price action, there is something going on here. Uh, the thing about, you know, the recent rally in oats is that it's been absolutely humongous, huge. Uh, it's been very overextended. So here we have the current uh, move. It is obviously very uh, absurdly big. Uh, here we have also the PPO. So the PPO has reached, along with RSI, levels that have called tops in the past. Here, huge uh, move. And then we did have a correction. Here with, you know, the PPO and it did um, come pretty close here to calling the top. So PPO and RSI has reached really, really, really dangerous levels. It is very rare historically, even when we go way back here to the 70s. It is super rare for us to get even higher RSI here on the weekly data points. And also rare to get an even higher PPO. The times we have had uh, prior higher PPOs, it's been these super peaks that have been followed by very devastating uh, pullbacks. So this is obviously a commodity where you want to buy low and sell high. The thing is that we are, you know, we are, the, t the key target now is the high here from 2014. Um, the, the issue for the bulls though is that we have already spent so much fuel. Uh, RSI is at a very high level. And to get up there, that would be, um, uh, that would actually be a 16-ish percent move from the current level. So, and yeah, it would take quite quite a lot to get up there. Uh, you know, one of the reasons why we might not get up there is because this move it wasn't sustainable at all back here. You know, it was just this fluke. I mean, if you look at how long we spent there, it was like yeah, a, a couple of you no, know, just a few days basically like until we completely uh, lost that level so obviously this is a very high price level for oats and quite clearly uh, there's not a lot of long-term buyers that keep piling in to those levels so which is supportive of a more bearish uh, thesis here are the daily data points uh, similar you know message rsi and ppo are, are at a very very high risk levels for the bulls this is definitively a commodity uh, where you want to buy low and sell high. We do have some small time cycles here. Um, being somewhat clean and not perfect, of course. Um, 
I mean, we haven't had you know that pullback yet. I mean, this has been a, this has been a very very strong uh, rally. If I were to um, you know have some hypothesis, it would certainly be that part of this I think is has also been some short covering. Um, there's probably been multiple people who have tried you know to call some tops here in oats due to the history. Of, of the product, you know, which clearly shows that bear markets are just as common as bull markets. Yeah, I think that, you know, taking the evidence together here, it is easier, I think, to make uh, a more bearish thesis than a bullish thesis. I mean, the risk is definitively much higher for new bulls here than I think new bears. Yes, it could go in you know, like 16 ish percent against you. Obviously, you, you wouldn't. Uh, allow it to do that you would have some kind of stop so yeah it could go against you but if you look at you know the downside risk versus vis-a-vis -vis, like the upside risk so the downside risk is like yeah, all of a sudden you get 20 percent 40 percent i mean just look at what happened here to lumber yeah because lumber it went through like a super bubble a huge move right and um i mean this the fall has been absolutely spectacular so there's been Clearly, other commodities that seen you know big moves and big crashes. Let's look a bit at correlations with the remaining time we have. So here we are looking at oats versus the S and P five hundred. So here we have an eighty four percent positive correlation long term. That is pretty strong. We have a fifty three percent positive with the DBA, which is you know the agricultural commodities ETF. Minus 52% negative with the dollar index. With the gold, we have a 46% positive. Looking short term, daily data points, uh, we have a 78% positive correlation with the S&P 500. So, bo so both of them are seemingly in the risk on um, category. Uh, with the, the agricultural commodity CTF, 72% uh, positive. We have a 57% positive uh, relationship here with the dollar index uh, short term. So we went from minus 52% negative here to positive, uh, positive 57%. So that is an interesting uh, difference. But if you look here at, you know, the correlations and how it has fluctuated over time, it has been, uh, this is at, you know, a high level. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think that uh, there are more interesting bearish opportunities here for oats going forward due to the history, but obviously you want to be careful with uh, commodities due to the leverage effect.